Hey, it's Justin Kanoya, DJ, business coach, and idea sharer. And in this video, I wanna talk about Crate Hackers, which to me has become one of my most important event preparation tools. I should start this off by simply clarifying what Crate Hackers is and what it is not. Most importantly, Crate Hackers is not a digital download music pool. So if you're not getting music from Crate Hackers, what is it? Now, I could give my own interpretation, but I found an explanation from Poma Only's Nick Han, who explains it perfectly. Nick says, Crate Hackers is a provider of integrated professional DJ playlists. These playlists are based on themes such as genres and specific events. They tell you which music to play, in which order, and how it will work in terms of danceability. These playlists are curated by specialists, i.e. pros, in their particular fields. Crate Hackers can cut down on your workload significantly by having links to those songs from various record pools embedded with one click to take you to that pool to download each song. And like I said earlier, Crate Hackers does not host any songs of their own. Crate Hackers is not a music pool. I mean, if I need a hip hop playlist, I can go to Spotify and find that for free. Or if I need a current top 40 list, there are numerous charts that I can find online. But where Crate Hackers differs from those examples lies in exactly what Nick said. The playlists are based on themes such as genres and specific events, and the songs within each playlist are in order in terms of harmonic compatibility, tempo, energy, and danceability. And the thing is, when it comes to Spotify, who knows what nameless algorithm is compiling those? Crate Hackers playlists, on the other hand, are curated by other DJs, just like you and me. Now, who are these experts? Well, it all starts with creator of Crate Hackers, Aaron Trailer, a radio club and private events DJ for more than 20 years. There's also Jason Janai, one of the most recognized private event and wedding DJs in our industry. And yes, even yours truly, a somewhat expert in the field of fitness DJing, guested with an entire webinar dedicated to music that works great for live DJ fitness events. But what really sets Crate Hackers apart from every other playlist and music chart tool out there is its desktop application. This application syncs with your own music library to automatically generate a crate or playlist within your DJ software. So what that means, if you open Crate Hackers looking for an event specific playlist, let's just say a bachelorette party, and there's a playlist in Crate Hackers with 38 songs, at the click of a button, you can generate that same playlist in your DJ software. There's no looking at a list, searching your database, and then dragging it into a folder. Crate Hackers does all of this automatically. And I'd like to demonstrate it for you right now. So here we are in Crate Hackers, and you can see, just as I scroll through, just the crazy number of crates or playlists that are in here. And even just looking at the dates, there's almost a new one that is placed here every day or multiple ones in our in a single day so there's just so much content which in a way i mean there's a lot of duplicate content but still i, I think in this case uh, you can never have enough uh, so let's go ahead and build out a playlist and this is perfect uh, country dance party five uh, that five is really just means that there is four previous playlists um, that have been placed in here this one has 47 tracks, so let's see of the 47 tracks how many that I actually have and that will sync to my virtual DJ. So this is as simple as clicking right there on Country Dance Party 5. And here is the entire crate. It's all 47 tracks. And if we just look at the first one, this is how easy it is to build a crate. All the program has done is, again, since it's synced with my music folders, it's matching up what is in Crate Hackers to uh, the you know the same file or the same song that's in my database. So if we look at number one, Russell Dickerson, yours, we can see not only does it find you know this correct version, so this one's spot on, but just in case, it's also picking up some additional songs that match up with the tag. So obviously other Russell Dickerson songs. And here is I'm Yours, which is probably a Jason Mraz track. 
um, it's even picked that up. So we've correctly identified the first one. It's already been checked, so don't have to do anything about it. So as I keep scrolling through, Dan is speechless. That's in there. Matt Stell prayed for you. Perfect. We're still good. We're number four, five. Wagon wheel, very good. Okay, so here's the first uh, indiscrepancy, we'll call it. Uh, Morgan Wallen spin you around. This, the the software has picked up these other Morgan Wallen songs that are in my database, but it's not finding spin you around. So what I'm gonna do is uncheck that. And essentially what'll happen is when I click this export to virtual DJ, it's just not going to, you know, none of these songs will, will move over because obviously none of them are selected. So let's continue on. Here's Luke Bryan played again. All good. Here's Stapleton Millionaire. Pretty good. I actually have a lot of these songs and this is why it's perfect, right? Like I'm honestly not familiar with most of these tracks. Uh, I'm Country music is not my genre. It's not something that I play very often. Uh, so this is where Crate Hackers really shines because if a client were to come to me and say, hey, you know, I want some current uh, country songs to either be mixed in during dinner or just, just to throw in during the open dance set, I can go into Crate Hackers and just create this playlist and it's been curated by someone that knows country music really well. In this case, we see good old Michelle Rundat Miller uh, created this one. So the second time, I'm gonna go ahead and keep scrolling through here. Uh, probably speed up the footage just so you don't have to watch the whole thing, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this out and see how many of these 47 tracks I have. All right, now, uh, just coming up to the last few, so there's track 44. Uh, Josh Turner, I've got it, 45. When it rains, it pours, I already unchecked out and didn't have this one. Travis Truitt, it's great to be alive. All good there. And Brooks and Dunn, of course, the old great standby boots, scoot, and boogie. All right. So, um, I don't recall. Probably had, I think, about 30 of the 47, maybe a few more. Uh, but now we want to move it from Crate Hackers into Virtual DJ. And, I mean, honestly, this couldn't be any simpler. Just click this button, export to Virtual DJ. And what, I, it took like a half a second, maybe? Your file has been downloaded to Virtual DJ. Please refresh your playlist in Virtual DJ. Hit OK. And we'll go into Virtual DJ. And I'm gonna, let's expand this here. Open my list and advice, open my playlist. And look at that, Country Dance Party 5. And even look at that, Michelle, I even have her New Year's Eve party crate uh, that I had thrown in here before my New Year's Eve gig. So, uh, so there it is. But Country Dance Party 5 uh, has 29 files. So it's pretty, almost close. Uh, had 29 of the 47 tracks. I mean, really, it's just, like I said, it's genius. Uh, and I just can't say enough about this program. And that is just merely scratching the surface of what Crate Hackers is. Yes, ultimately it's a website packed with usable playlists. And that's the tangible element. But the intangible, something that I don't even think was intended, is the community that has been built around it. I don't know how many DJs are actually subscribed to Crate Hackers, but what I can tell you is there's a members only Facebook group that has more than 2000 members. And the webinars I've attended as well as participated in as a panel member have had 50 to 100 people in them. And while DJ specialists submit their playlists, Aaron hosts regular hackathons, which is essentially an audience participation forum. The theme might be 80s R&B, and with the help of guest DJs and those in the chat, a crate is curated that you can use at your next event. What I really like is the fresh take that Crate Hackers has taken to help DJs. So much of the push in our education is around marketing, sales, emceeing, mixing, you name it. And all that stuff is important. But when it comes down to it, DJing is about playing music. And it's about playing the right music for a specific crowd at a specific time. It's also about being better organized with your music, not only within your hard drive, but within your DJ program. But with a little nudge from Crate Hackers and an assist from the community, it's creating a path to being a better DJ. So is Crate Hackers for you? Well, I would say it's a resounding yes. 
especially if you've been DJing for as long as I have, 20 plus years. Now I'd go as far as saying, if you've been DJing regularly for 10 or more years, you absolutely should be a part of Crate Hackers. If you've been DJing that long, you likely have a hard drive filled with music and you probably get asked to DJ all types of events. And let's be honest, there are certain genres that just aren't your strong suit. I mean, I demonstrated earlier with country music for me. Maybe you've got an upcoming wedding client that has asked for some bachata to be mixed during dinner and that's not your strong suit. Well, Crate Hackers is a tool that will make you feel confident and prepared for any event. But the thing is, is Crate Hackers for everyone? Well, I mean, the short answer would be no. As mentioned, Crate Hackers creates playlists and finds those songs on your hard drive. If you don't have these songs simply because you're new to all of this, it's going to be pretty frustrating to realize you can only compile 25% of a playlist. If you're a DJ who's just getting started or maybe less than three years into this industry, I think allocating funds to other things might make better sense, such as building a robust music collection first. However, you know, there is that whole community aspect as well as a wealth of great information shared on music management, which is important to both new and veteran DJs. So really, the choice is yours. I would recommend checking out the website, viewing some other tutorial videos, and seeing if it's something you're interested in. And at the very least, just pay 30 bucks and try it out for a month. In conclusion, it's not the end all be all. It's not gonna do the work for you. It's just one more thing in this day and age of DJing that could help you. And I know it helps me. In the words of Nick, everyone has their own way of painting, and this is just another brush in the toolbox. Well, I couldn't have said it any better myself. Please hit that subscribe button if you find value in any of the content that I put out. I appreciate the support. I'm Justin Kanoya, and I'll see you next time online.